Hello and welcome back to Core Finance. A happy Friday to all you viewers out there. And as ever, it gives me great pleasure to introduce back onto the show Peter Watson from Watson's Wi-Fi. How are you today, Peter? Very well, thank you. How are you, sir? Uh, living the dream. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant, as we, as, as we all are. Um, brilliant. So what have you got for us today, so, Peter? Um, okay, so today um, I thought that we'd I'd start off with a few, uh, an interesting look at sort of contrast between UK and, and US economies, because mm -hmm. um, there are quite a lot of interesting correlations, I think. Um, and then after that, talk about a few things about some, uh, you know, good weeks for certain companies and not so good weeks for others. But, uh, but anyway, in terms of in terms of the first um, the first stuff, US versus UK. So obviously this week, um, interest rates. So uh, the US has left them unchanged um, because mainly because they're persistently low inflation. Mm -hmm. And for the UK, they have um, actually increased them because first time of, in ten years. Yes, <laughs> exactly. For because of rising inflation. Um, so so uh, then we've got the, the, the contrast continuing consumer spending. So um, earlier this week there were some um, figures out from the Commerce Department in the US saying that the savings rate is now 3.1% um, in, in September. That's the lowest um, it's been for 10 years mm -hmm. and um, it has been um, consecutively under 4% for seven months, uh, seven months on the trot. So um, the conclusion to that is Americans are saving less and spending more. Um, Again, in contrast to the UK consumer spending, looking decidedly shaky, mm -hmm. you had um, next results that were pretty rubbish um, yes. earlier on this week. Um, and then you had the Bank of England actually releasing um, figures about with, with regard to credit growth, um, which showed that there was increased borrowing, um, and that was on credit cards, um, overdrafts, and unsecured loans as well. Mm -hmm. So actually, you know, you'd think, I, well, I, I think that that that's only going to get worse with a with an interest rate increase because I don't think it's enough that people think, oh, we've got to stop spending. Mm -hmm. They'll just think, well, you know, I'll put an extra bit on on a bit more on the credit card. So actually, I think that it's going to get worse. Um, and then the other the other interesting contrast between um, US and UK uh, car sales. So going going up in the US, mm -hmm. um, October figures they easily beat all um, uh, you know. Um, uh, forecasts and things um, and most manufacturers were doing pretty well on things like you know SUVs and things but there were some that did less well because fleet uh, there were there was less fleet buying and things like that but, but a, lo a lot of that I think a lot of the uh, after the hurricane I mean, they, a lot of people saw the SUV disappear into yeah the well river there you go to, yes to replace that yes that's so right that's right so there, I mean there is there's there's that as well so but you know they they are going up and in mm -hmm. in the UK however uh, they're going down um, and the the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, um, which is, sounds like a very exciting society, yes. um, they, uh, they actually had to revise down their sales forecasts for the third time this year, not only for this year, but also for next year as well. So it's, it's, it's looking pretty um, ropey in the UK, generally speaking. Um, Trump also this week, obviously, he unveiled his um, much-awaited uh, income tax ref uh, you know, his um, income tax reform bill. Mm -hmm. um, um, and we'll see how much of that survives um, discussion, etc. Uh, I mean, if it does, if it survives in its current form, you'd have thought that's going to be a very big boost to the US economy. But it's where, how much of it manages to get through. Yeah. So. Um, but other than that, um, so that aside, so going on to the more the, the corporate side of stuff, um, I think it was a it was a very good week um, this week for, for instance, oil companies. So yes. you had BP, Shell had some excellent results. Um, BP were talking about share buyback. Um, there's rumours um, of of Shell, you know, um, actually paying their dividend now in cash rather than uh, you know a part cash part uh, sort of um, shares etc. Mm -hmm. um, so it's um, that's that's very good and I, I would have thought uh, you know a place like Aberdeen will probably be quite quite pleased about that I would have thought at some point along the line <laughs> um, then you've got um, so that was good for oil it was good for t a lot of tech companies as well so you had Alibaba they had um, quarterly profits yesterday up 83 percent um, and this is all just on online shopping everyone continuing to buying online yep. um, and they also nudged up their full year revenue forecast as well so they're just continuing to do great guns there um, facebook 
80% jump um, in quarterly profits, almost a 50% jump in advertising profits as well. I mean, that's, that's insane. I mean, uh, you know, it, yes, it, I, I guess that, you know, we are now entering a sort of new era, but still, that is a, that is a chunky increase, I think. Um, so, obviously, they're doing well, and you know, maybe the, the, the Russian problems that they're having have maybe taken a slight back seat there. Um, and then Apple, um, they, they had their best quarterly results for two years, doing very well there. Um, it's interesting, really, in terms of what's going to happen with their, with their sales for their iPhone, because you've got, um, I think, the iPhone 8 orders probably not as, as great as they were hoping, but I think that's probably because people just want to see the 10 mm -hmm. before they commit. So there's, there's a lot of hope out there, I think, and I think a lot of it's in, in the share price. But, um, you know, if, if those orders go really well, then, then clearly they're off to the races again. Um, £999, the, the X is released today. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Um, I think people are going to have to, you know, look, look, dig deep behind the back of the sofa uh, mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to, do, to pay for those. But uh, we'll see. So anyway, so that was that. Um, and, and also Samsung as well. Very, very good results yes. and replaced all their top management. So, I mean, they've had an absolute nightmare for the last, for the last year or so with corruption, scandals and, and all the rest of it. So maybe this is drawing a line under it and, and they'll be doing OK now. Um, but it was a bad week, um, however, for, for instance, advertising giant WPP. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're saying that, oh, a place like you know, Google and F Facebook, oh, we, we don't deal with the same uh, clientele, but... I mean, you know, it just seems to me that 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 okay. Even if they're even if they're not really dealing with the same clientele, I think that the trend of uh, more advertising going online yes. is going to continue. And if it's not with with the big boys now, it will be. And so, you know, they their WPP have had to bring down their forecasts as well. So, I think unless they do something pretty serious, um, you know, they're going to continue to lose traction. And then you've got um, Tesla. Um, who are very, you know, they announced again um, production uh, production delays. Um, this is for the Model Three. They were they were talking about cranking out five thousand cars per uh, per week. I think it was by the end of this calendar year. No chance happen. of that. <laughs> it's going to be next quarter. It, it, yeah. I mean, it's constantly this thing with Tesla is it's constantly jam tomorrow, jam tomorrow, jam tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, can I have some money all the time. And I just think. It's okay now. I think that the investors are giving them a lot of leeway, but there's got to come a point sometime when they're going to go, well, come on, you know, what's going on? And, and you know, I, I think in my fantasy M&A world, um, which I, oh, it's not very big actually, but is, is, you know, Tesla getting together with someone like VW because you've got the Tesla know-how, eco credentials, etc., and then you've got, um, you know, you've got v, VW's production capacity. So you've got sort of new world meets real real world, and I think together would, mm -hmm. would be quite good. But I mean, I mean you know, as VW, do you look at them now and say, well, if we take them on, we've got to, we've got to deal with this debt pile, or, or do you wait for... Uh, them to file bankruptcy and burn out of cash and that's then pick the, up the pieces yeah, and, I mean, and the that's, knowledge. That's the, that's the big question, isn't it, really? I mean, uh, how long are Tesla going to try to last, you know, l stick mm -hmm. it out? And then how much debt uh, uh, would, a, would a new suitor be willing to take on? Um, I think at some point there should be some convergence, but I, I, unfortunately I don't know when that would be. Uh, and then the last, the last thing in terms of the, the, um, the companies is, is Qualcomm. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, an absolute lesson in why you shouldn't <laughs> annoy Apple. Um, obviously they're feeling pressure because Apple's new devices will not be using Qualcomm um, chips. They will be using chips from Intel and MediaTek, it looks like. 20% um, of Qualcomm's um, chip production goes to Apple. So this is going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I personally doubt that they are going to completely cut Qualcomm off forever and a day. Because I think a few years ago, you know, when there, were, there, have, been, there have been production bottlenecks and things, and I think that it is better. For, I think that, that, that Apple will ultimately be shooting themselves in the foot if they cut Qualcomm off com completely, because they're just going to cut off another supplier. So I reckon I would have thought that they'll do it for a while, and then mm -hmm. they'll gradually let them back in. Good stuff. And uh, 
On a lighter note, have you uh, got anything else for us? Yeah, well, funny you should say that. Um, obviously, it's been a hectic week, interest rates and all the rest of it. Um, so I thought I'd show you a few potential Christmas um, stocking fillers. Um, on <laughs> Which the I can theme put of, on the credit yeah, card. There you go, on the theme of relaxation. So here is, a, <laughs> is, a, is an eye mask. Um, I think you may well get some interesting looks if you, say, use that on the long haul, uh, long haul flight or perhaps the train. Um, but if that's, that's not relaxing enough for you, there's a new uh, variation on some bath salts. Um, so a new a limited edition KFC bath salt. So you can you can relax in your bath um, to the to the soothing smell um, of of fried, oh, fried chicken. chicken. That, that's finger licking. Well, it'd be more than finger licking. <laughs> yeah, well, it'd be all, all over body licking. Yeah, yeah, it's, if, if absolutely. That's, if that's a catch. It's line. absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's uh, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but now, that is the worst. Now you'd present. be inter actually you'd be, you may be interested to know that the same company last year uh, produced similar bath salts. Um, that had beer flavour, uh, beer flavour, pizza flavour, and missile soup flavour. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, but finally, my yeah. favourite story of the week. Um, it's, it was about. A, it sounds a bit like a. It sounds like a bit like a joke. I'm mm -hmm. beginning with a joke. So a vegetarian walks into a cafe um, and and basically um, orders a bean burger. And where, where about was this cafe? In Northern Ireland. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, in Northern yep. Ireland. Yep. Yep. And ordered a bean burger. Um, normal burgers look like that. It's Very normally tasty. a bean burger yeah, would look if, like if that. You're that way inclined. That's right. Uh, but this is what they got. <laughs> now you can actually see. The thought process yes. of the chef. You can see him. At, you can see him in the kitchen thinking, "Bean burger, um, not quite sure. Uh, ran out of chickpeas. I know what. Beans burger. Put them together. Jobs are good. Un. Does exactly what it says on the uh, baked bean. Tin. That's right. Yes. There you go. Very tasty. Well, uh, just in time for lunch, <laughs> I won't be ordering one of those. But in the meantime, Peter Watson, thank you very much for joining us here on Core Finance. Thank you.